Good morning. What a weekend it has been. It is now Tuesday morning. We have had some major changes up at our barn. We have upped our egg production instantly by about five times. We now get about anywhere from a dozen to 15 eggs a day. We're so excited. I was able to give away my first dozen of eggs for the first time in a long time. And that just makes my heart so happy. So happy that I'm telling y'all about this and I'm making a huge mess. It's covered. Oh well. I'm fixing to show y'all all the fun that we've been doing this weekend. It was super crazy, super busy, but all in a great way. I know I mentioned in our last video, we had some big changes coming. My sister brought her laying flock Friday night while they were roosting. So it was perfect. They handled it extremely well. Everybody just didn't miss a beat. They're kind of scattered right now. But let me I say a laying flock. There's a couple interesting breeds in this flock. Definitely a great mix. And look at this little fella. Hold on. That's a little Americana girl. And this here is Sheldon the Silky. He is so cute and so funny. He lives in his own little world. Hey, buddy. All right, my crew. So they roost in their little coop over there. And there's 15 of them. They all squeeze in there and are totally fine with it. Let me let these ladies out. Good morning. Sheldon, you telling them all about it? Also, my father-in-law brought us two Polish roosters. We named them Goose and Maverick. But they are the biggest goofballs. Oh, she's ready to lay her egg. Sheldon, you go and check it out? Oh, nosy Rosie. <laughs> he is so funny. He's, oh, there's one of them. Goose or Maverick, one of them. Look at these goofballs. They are so silly. They crow all night and all day. <laughs> it has been so much fun hearing a rooster crow around here. Let's go over here and see, make sure everybody's okay. I actually did forget to close their little coop door, but I didn't see any sign of any issues. So this little thing is so cool. You just lift each side. It's kind of need a little cleaning, but they roost on that middle roost there, this one. There's one over there, and then on the bottom where the nesting boxes are. It's the cutest little thing. Every piece of the roof lifts up. It usually has a ridge cap. It got lost in the travels, but little light hangs there. A little drawstring door I gotta fix. It usually goes up under the inside and comes out the top there in that little hole. This roof lifts to get to it. And then this bottom one as well. It is the cutest. I'm so excited. So blessed to have been gifted these. Hey, girl. Aww. Nosy. I, you're not getting my coffee this morning. Oh, well, you just think I got snacks, huh? There's the goofballs. Let me go check on everybody else. They decided not to come out. They, they did all make it out. Never mind. I see them down there. Oh, there they come. Mr. here is, oh. Wow, Sal, that was impressive. What y'all running from? Y'all just looking for snacks? Oh, hold on. Oh, these guys, when they run, their hair blows back <laughs> like an 80s rock band or something. Oh, that's so hard. We have leftovers for cleaning. We are, it's livened up around here a whole lot. Just warmed up here. Obviously, I'm in my fuzzy robes still, but I'm just cold nature, so it's no big deal for me. So we still feed and scratch lame pellets and grower, bitty grower, I call it. Okay, the only bad thing about this, we had some horrible, well, horrible, lots of rain. It made a muddy mess. It just stayed that misty, never dried, it's still wet. Hoping today we'll get a lot of sunshine and it'll dry out because it is gross and this feed i feed them right here on the ground always have 
because if I put a feeder out, the raccoons just haul it off anyway. It's been a problem trying to find a resolve to that, but I'm still thinking about it. If any of you have any suggestions, I'm all up for it. Just grow her out to them. So let me show you the other major change we've had around here. So, old Goose at it this morning. We finally got our Buckley from GTB Farm. We're so excited. He is the sweetest. We're on, he's all a bottle baby. He's four weeks old. And I haven't had a bottle baby in a long time. It was due, I was overdue. I was a little too intimidated at first, but we have done really well. Um, just figuring out our schedule along with my work schedule is going to be the biggest challenge. I have a couple of ideas that I'll share with y'all. Uh, one being, I have a fence feeder on the way. I bought a lamb bar bottle holder, basically, where in the mornings I'll feed him his 8 o'clock feeding. And at lunch, my blessed father-in-law, thank goodness he's around. He's retired. So most of the time he's around at lunch. And if not, my mother-in-law is well on her way to retiring too. So she spends a good bit of time at home, especially with the way things are right now. And they can just, I'll have a bottle ready for them. They can come drop it in the fence feeder at lunch. This little guy is actually used to uh, at least one feeding of his being on the fence feeder. So we'll do that and then I'll feed him again. He's still on four times a day right now. We're fixing the transition to three. So that'll help a little bit. But still that midday feeding is gonna be the one that we have to have on, on the lamb bar which is totally fine. He'll be perfectly fine. He's done this well this far, so. Hey, S'more. S'more's gonna be so happy to have his little friend. Hi. Let the big girls out for now. Hi, Prego. Look at Prego here. Good morning. Woo, looking wild. I can feel her babies moving so much. All right, let me go get their food. Good morning, there he is. I'm gonna go back to the house and get a spot on. I'll be back to show y'all. All right, I had to shuck the fuzzy road. It's warmed up, it's humid here. Oh, I miss those low humidity days I was talking about before. Oh, that's all right. Welcome to winter in Louisiana. Looking forward to spring. There's beauty in the winter too. All part of it. I got little bits bottle. We call him Rolo. He looks like a Rolo. His colors. And he's so sweet. Of course, you've probably noticed by now all of our goat names are after sweets or baked goods. So, whole Rolo here gets six to eight ounces per feeding right now. We use the Pritchard nipple on this bottle from Premier One, which is fantastic. I will make sure and link everything we use in the description below. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, he's hungry too. So good. <clears throat> hey, buddy. Let me let these big girls out. Hi. All right, let's give him some breakfast. Hey, Mama. Hey, oh, it's breakfast time. The tail wag is my favorite. Oh, he's so serious right now. Hey, lovey. Good boy. He's so serious right now. Can't even wag his tail. He's just starving. Oh, my goodness. Hi, ladies. Y'all wanting some of this bottle? There goes that tail. So cute. He's doing so good. So right now he's on whole milk, just regular whole cow's milk. The breeder we got him from just switched him to it. Oh goodness, sometimes he gets it in his nose. But he's doing really good. Kind of make sure I always clean his nose off after he eats because it dries and gets like sticky and it bothers him. So sometimes he'll even wipe his nose on my leg while he's eating. Oh goodness. The big girls are being mean to the little girls over there. Breakfast. Yummy buddy. His little markings are so pretty. He is pulled. You can see his little head. He's a little more round. They call him like egg shaped. 
makes his eyes kind of just kind of look like they're sticking out a little further, but he does not have horns naturally. You fool? You're not fool yet. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna finish giving him his bottle, check on him real good. We'll visit with the other ladies for a minute. We are so excited to have him here and can't wait to share everything that he's got going for him in his future. Hi. Oh, you just want to be snuggled. Oh my goodness, you're so sweet. You're handsome. What's that baby? Oh, is that? <laughs> oh, man. You sneaking? Oh, goodness. Oh, he's so cute. You need some more? All right. It's always surprising to me how much I appreciate the craziness as I'm usually a, I am, not usually, I am a routine person. I appreciate routine and the consistency of what's so-called normalcy, but I always do appreciate the newness that is growing and adding to our farm and just growing in general. Um, I've always appreciated a challenge and the changes that come from that because they're always good. You're stronger, your group is stronger, and whether that's your, your family, your organization that you are surrounded with, the people you're surrounded with, your friends, whatever it may be. Um, in this case, our case, it's our farm. Um, all these are good changes, even though it seems kind of crazy for a minute. We, um, it gets loud, it gets unorganized, it gets messy, but you know, that's how change works and growth works. So may you embrace the craziness of change and growth too. See you soon.